Hi there, guitar players. All right, you have lots of time to play guitar at home. So Ella, this is going to be super important with your new electric guitar. Will and Nick, this is going to be important for you as bass players because we're going to use the top three strings in this scale exercise. We're going to use the E string, the A string, and the D string. Oops, there it is. So you have these strings on your guitar and on your bass. So practice these on your bass. We're gonna learn a basic scale pattern that you can do in many different keys. So remember our top string is E. If we're on first fret, that's F. And if we're on the third fret, this is G. So we're going to start with G. Now, we're going to keep our middle finger on the, in the third fret. We're going to use our pointer in the second fret, ring finger in the fourth fret, and pinky in the fifth fret. We need to get that muscle memory going. This is something I have never really practiced until this week on my guitar, or at least not for many, many years. So I'll be learning along with you. If I don't sound too good, that's why. But if I can learn it, you can learn it. So we're gonna start with our third finger, middle finger in the third fret on the top string for a G note. G, then we're gonna use our pinky on the fifth fret for A. G, A. Now we're going to the next string and we're gonna use finger two for B, and then finger three for C, then finger five for D. Now we're going down a string to the third string for E, Oops, second fret. See, I'm learning with you. E, fourth finger for F sharp, and fifth finger for G. Okay, so it's gonna sound like this. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. Then we'll go back down. Five, four, two, five, three, two, five, three. So practice that a few times. Let's do it again. Three, five, two, three, five, two, four, five. Let's go down. Five, four, two, five, three, two, five, three. If we memorize these numbers and we get our fingers going with that muscle memory, we can do many different scales. If we go up, here is our G, G sharp, A. We can do the same thing, play a scale in the key of A. Let's try it, same pattern. Three, five, two, three, five, two, four, five. Let's try it again. Make sure you're in the fifth fret now for A. My has a dot up on the top of my neck. I bet yours does too. Okay, here we go. Three, five, two, two sorry, two, three, five, two, four, five. Let's see if we can go down. Five, four, two, five, three, two, five, three. You can see by using different fingers here, we're not moving our hand up and down the neck. It's pretty much staying right here. So let's try A one more time. 
three, five, two, three, five, two, four, five, five, four, two, five, three, two, five, three. You know what? You can sit with your guitar when you're watching a TV show or if you're um, waiting around for something and just memorize that pattern. Three, five, two, three, five, two, two, four, five. Three, five, two, three, five, two, whoops, two, four, 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 five. <laughs> See, I'm learning with you guys. Um, okay, so we can do G in the third fret. We can do the key of A in the fifth fret. And then we can do the key of B flat. The key of B. The key of C. Let's go to the fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth fret and do the key of C. Yep. Gotta make sure I'm right. Yep. Okay, so go to the eighth fret, and that's where finger three starts. Okay? So let's try that same pattern. Three, five, two, three, five, two, four, five. Okay, it's kind of easier up here because you don't have to stretch your fingers so much. All right, so you guys get practicing those scales, especially on that electric guitar. We need some cool guitar solos in our worship songs. All right, so get practicing. Do it over and over and pretty soon your fingers will just automatically have that muscle memory and you'll just be going up and down your scales. So have fun. Be sure to practice so that you can play skillfully.